Hey guys, welcome back to a new movie. Today we're gonna try a fly um, that is really important for me in June, late uh, late summer. Uh, I mean early summer when uh, the river rivers are big and cold and uh, all the big fresh salmon are coming in. Um, I can show you the fly. It's this one. It's called the regatta. And it's a pattern that we caught a bunch of salmon with this summer, uh, especially in Orkla and uh, other rivers that are a bit humus colored. So uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Um, I'm gonna tie it with the different materials. We're gonna start off with an orange, hot orange tube from uh, Futurefly. The inner tube is a 1.8 millimeter orange tube as well. Um, we're gonna have some uh, mirage tinsel in the butt along with some floral fibers, orange and then we're gonna rib the fly with some oval tinsel this is a small one from Venus uh, the body is gonna be made of uh, Alta Gold Holo Braid, Holographic Braid from uh, Mr. Fredin. The body uh, hackle um, will be, let me see if I can find it, some cocktail, orange cochlea This one. I can say that I use body hackle on my flies very rare, rare, rarely, especially it's especially on late summer, midsummer, etc. I don't use it at all because it I think it makes too much of the fly. I want the flies to be slimmer, smaller, etc. But on the big June flies that I, I always use it. Uh, makes a vo good volume to the fly. Uh, maybe it's a bit of a trigger, I don't know. Yeah, let's I just I just use it in the <laughs> in the early flies. Um on the, um, we're gonna start off with the, yeah, and we're also gonna have some dubbing in the front, um, some uh, pata corva dubbing from this is the glitz dub from Fredin. The flash will be alta gold. The wing, first wing will be hot orange polar bear. This is from my sponsor Sasha Flyfish. Um, I'll put a link in the description. You can check him out. He Carves all his uh, uh, all his uh, materials himself: polar bear, temple dog, goats, uh, etc. So check that out. It's a really good color. Uh, I haven't found this in the store yet, so he makes them for me. So you can also buy them in the shop. The first tackle we're gonna have in front is the soft tackle, a uh, hot orange soft tackle badge. It's the rooster, rooster cape. Second tackle will be the black. We're gonna have some jungle cock, and of course the top wing will be some black temple dog. You can use goat, fox, whatever you want. Just what what fits you best. And that's probably it, I think. So um, yeah, I'm tying this fly with uh, an orange uh, tying thread. So. That's it. That is because of the mirage tinsel behind. I think it's getting a nicer color to it when it gets in the water, uh, comparing to if you're using a black thread under it. So that's how we're gonna do it today. So yeah, let's just get starting. Okay. So what I've been doing now is I've been connecting the top tube and the inner tube. Um, with a tie in a little bunch. Of thread and I put some super glue on and I just shuffle them into each other and then I lock it with with this tight thread tie it a bit tight over here so the tube will be tight in there okay cut this off starting off with some mirage tinsel Okay, like that. You just tighten this up. 
somebody use super glue here, I don't, but if you want to do that, it secures the fly a bit more. Cut this off, like that. Then you have a bunch of some floral, fluorescent fibers here. Tie them in. <coughs> like that. Cut off this piece. You can use this for another fly. I always take some hand cement on to secure those fibers. Lock it up a bit more. Take your scissor and just cut it like this. Then you will have a nice transparent back part of the fly, like that. Okay, so the hollow braid. Tie that one in. Like that. You want to connect it to the sticks behind there so it doesn't disturb you. Then the flat braid. Okay. Stop about five millimeters in front of the tube because we're gonna have some dubbing in front. You can also add some super glue under here. I usually do that, but I'm not doing it now. That will strengthen the fly a lot. Okay, so we stop there. Couple of wraps, like that. Get that off. And now um, you want to have some dubbing on, as I told you about uh, Patakorva dub. That's what I use here. I dub this forward like that. I have a little tiny spot in front there. That's where I'm going to tie in the feather, the heckle fiber. Okay, so choose out a heckle fiber that's about the size you like. You can measure this normally with a heckle measurement tool. Not that easy on tubes though, but yeah, I do it about. I just watch the feather and it feels like it's okay. Don't take them too long. That will then you will have trouble with matching your front heckle and uh, and. Uh, the fly will also spin a bit more and twist your leader, etc. So keep the sizes down. These cochlear feathers are really tiny and easy to tie in, I think. So connect the heckle tool. Start off as I always do, pull it backwards, forward. Whoops. So you can see, you have to be careful. This will happen to you guys. It happens to me all the time, so it sucks even it's two things I hate. This is one of them and when the tread breaks. Or if you have tied too much stuff in front of the fly and you can't get the cone on. That also suck. Okay, like that. Now we're gonna we're gonna lock this up with the rib, so we do that the opposite way. So tighten down the feathers with your finger and you just rib like this. While I'm doing this, I, uh, I normally use, yeah, you can use your uh, dubbing needle and just pull out the fibers so you don't tie them down like that. And you want to connect with the stem of the fiber at all the wraps you do. Then you secure this stuff much more and keep it tight all the time. Like that. Lock it up. Like that. 
Cut it off. Cut off the back part. Be careful so you don't cut all the fibers back there. A little tip from, from me here guys is to use some super glue at the back point where you where you tied in the feather. Or where you locked it, I mean. Will keep your feather your hackle fibers a lot more stronger. Probably been uh, fished with flies from stores, etc., or maybe some flies you tied yourself, and uh, everything has been falling off. That sucks pretty hard. So, do a good job here. I take some more Pata Corvo dub, just a tiny piece, just to hide the stuff I did there. Okay, so that's it. That's the here we have the hackle. Now we're gonna connect the first wing, that's the polar bear. So take out a little bunch, cut it all the way down to the skin. So you get all the under wool. You don't want to pull out all the under wool, just half of it. Okay? Like that. Now I have a nice drop form. So, and take this about one centimeter longer than the floral fibers you have tied in. Tie it in tight. Like that. Cut off the little waist part in front. Like that. Okay, pull out all the some head cement, like that, couple of wraps, first hackle, orange, I already pushed, pulled out the orange piece here, before we started tying, that's a little trick I do to make things go <laughs> a bit faster. This hackle, won't, you want this hackle to be longer than the body hackle. So, Tie it in in the top, so you can see the fibers like this. A lot of people just cut this, but I just tie it in from the top. Okay, pull this backwards, keep it tight. Okay, hackle tool. Then you start pulling the fibers backwards like this on each wrap. Okay. Like that. Cut off the stem. Like that. And pull all the fibers backwards like this. And you just do a couple of wraps there. You can also add some super glue here and do the wraps, but I don't do that. That will strengthen the fly a lot. Okay. Like that. Now we're gonna add the uh, flesh. Pull out a little bunch of flesh. You don't have to be scared to use too much here because it's it's early and a uh, lot of water and the fish are aggressive. So do I tie it in on the side here, like not on the completely on the side like the jungle hook, but a bit up and the same on the other side. So now I'm doing one wrap like that. Oops, like that, and I'm pulling all these fibers. On the other side, like that. Okay, and then cut off. This flesh are going to be a bit longer than the than the wing, like the underwing. Okay. Now I have a new feather, soft tackle, black soft tackle feather. 
that we're going to play in. This one is going to be even longer than the first one. Oh, sorry, we're going to tie in the wing first. So, pull out some nice fibers from the from the temple dog. Here I pull out mostly all of the underwool. Like that. As you can see I work a lot with the materials before I put them on. Okay, and then this wing you want to be a bit longer than the other ones. Okay, you need to lock this up. Usually you have to adjust this a bit so you get it on the top middle. Okay, like that. Cut off the waist. Like that. Add some head cement. Like that. Now tie in the black feather, same as the other one, tie it from the top, like this. Like that. There's one little bastard there that they hadn't, didn't have been cut earlier. Okay, cut off this. Hackle tool. Oops. Close it, like that, pull this off, using a scalpel just to trim it in front here. Now add some jungle cork. We're gonna have two, yeah, quite big jungle corks that fits this size of a fly. Good. So I do it like this and bend them in so they get a nice little angle. As you can see, little curve. I tie them in. Same with this one. Okay. Now add some super glue to the thread like this. And just just secure this jungle hook so it doesn't fall off. And then just close the thread like this. Cut that off. Now the scalpel. Just cut off the stems. 
этот. Okay. We're gonna add the cone now. This is a bit uh, of a trick. Okay. What I do is I take the super glue, I add it on here, all around the fly, like this. Don't hit the hackle. So I'm on a bit on the tube there. Then everything secures itself and then the cone will get tight and nice on. Squeeze it on. Like that. Okay. Now you can also just connect the jungle cock and pull in it a bit. Like do this. And they will connect the way you want them because the because of the super glue. Okay. This is the regatta fly. Now we pull off the whole fly like that. We're gonna cut the off so we have like one five millimeter, three millimeter of the tube left in front. Take your lighter. Like that. Use your dubbing needle to make the hole good. Like that. That's the brigata. This is a really, really good pattern for early fishing when it's a lot of water and floody, dirty water. And yeah, make it. This is this one is about eight centimeter, maybe, maybe nine. Make it in. 12, 15 if you want to. It's a fucking good fly. Sorry for the language though. <laughs> but this fly has caught a bunch of salmon, big salmon, in humus rivers. So, thank you for watching guys. I'll see you guys later. Next time I'm, I'm going to show you guys a, a really good fly for uh, Gavla. Uh, that has had, that caught yeah, a bunch of fish this summer and uh, probably uh, will catch a lot of fish for you guys as well, but uh, it's quite a special pattern for me, so it's uh, I'm looking forward to tie that one. So, see you guys later and yeah, take care.